Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin. So, you've been thinking of trying out Toon Boom. Perhaps you're new to animating digitally or just looking for new software. Whatever might be the case, there are several different types of Toon Boom, so which is the right one? Look through each version and talk about what you'll be getting. I'll talk about each one with power versus price in mind. So what we've got, there's four main products in the Toon Boom lineup. Studio, Animate, Animate Pro, and Harmony. Starting on the lowest end is Toon Boom Studio. It's pretty cheap, well, cheap-ish, as far as creative programs are concerned. It's the most comparable program to Flash. It does most all the same things in a fairly similar way, but it's a bit more stable, a bit nicer to use in the process, and has a few more things going on. But it isn't without its limitations, and those limitations can tend to be pretty large. Studio caters towards the hobbyist, someone who's drawing digitally or animating for the first time, wanting to have some fun, make something cool to put on YouTube or Newgrounds. It's extremely versatile and can be pushed really far. Whatever you dream up, it is possible with this software, but you might have a harder time pulling off said vision with the more limited tools at your disposal. It contains all the basic vector drawing tools you'd expect, such as brush, pencil, eraser, paint bucket, etc with different ways to edit things and animate them as well. It caters to a bunch of forms of animation, whether it be frame by frame, tween based, and even has a bone rigger so you can puppeteer the characters. It is 3D depth of field with a camera that can be moved in 3D space, making for good parallax shots. The symbol library, onion skin, all these goodies are here, plus some fancy effects such as the earthquake, drop shadow, and a few others, even including automatic lip sync. All around a nice no frills program that helps get the job done quickly and easily. However, as good as it sounds, compared to the other products in the lineup, many would call it a mere toy. Moving up, we have Toon Boom Animate. It has a substantial price difference, and what you get for that is a new interface. This layout stays the same through all the higher versions of Toon Boom. It simply adds more functions, panels, buttons, and stuff. All the features in Studio Return presented in a much more streamlined and intuitive way. I'd recommend this to those who have experience drawing digitally but are new to the animating scene. It has a lot more functions that you'd be used to seeing to help make life easier. Most tools have several sub options added. Take the brush for example which gains the ability to paint behind, flatten with other vectors, etc. The additions are small but many and it makes a considerable difference to your workflow. My Problem with this program, however, is the power to price isn't that great. I personally think that if you're going to be animating casually, you might as well just save the money and go with Studio. But if you're willing to fork out a bit extra for something really good, it isn't a whole lot more to get Animate Pro, where the features leap ahead. This is Animate Pro and it is incredible. The one I personally recommend. It's a lot more expensive, especially compared to Studio, but one can make a living using this software, and many do. So if that's your goal, it's definitely worth considering. Many animation studios are switching to Animate Pro and Harmony, so having the experience using this software will give you a good leg up compared to those who are only used to using Flash. Additions to Animate Pro include a few more buttons and various tools all over the program, other little tricks that make life easier, like what Animate did. But the first big innovation is True 3D. Previously, the 3D functionality would only allow images to face the camera. Now they can be rotated and placed absolutely anywhere. So consider, for example, being able to draw four walls on different layers and make a set that your character can stand inside of. The biggest addition, however, is this thing called the module network. Modules are your layers, only they're laid out in front of you. They string and group together to organize your scene. This is used for compositing and effects. It's an incredibly powerful tool to be able to add glows, masks, refractions, and a huge amount of filters and other controls that can be combined and mixed seamlessly into your raw animations. So have a think about what style you wanna use. I personally can't live without this thing, which is why I rate it so highly, but it may be wiser to start with Animate and upgrade later if you're feeling restricted. And lastly is Toon Boom Harmony. This is the deluxe high-end thing. So much so that you can't even buy it directly from the website, but you have to contact the sales team. Golly. Harmony is targeted towards professionals and studios. Many television shows and feature films today are made using Harmony, and a lot of its features are focused around a bunch of people working together that have access to the same network of files, and carrying a large project through many steps of production. However, some of the user features are really useful. 
Yet more controls appear for tools and panels, such as merge layers, which is frankly painful that it's not in any other version. Hopefully it comes out for them one day. The module network gets a particle generator, and in the newest release, which I don't have here unfortunately, adds things such as bitmap drawing, mesh deform, and much more advanced rigging, apparently. So that's neat. So yeah, that's it. Studio, Animate, and Animate Pro all have free trial versions on the Toon Beam website. I encourage you all to try them out and get a feel for what you like and what you'll need. And to summarize on my recommendations, if you're new to animation or just wanting to have a bit of fun, get Studio. If you're wanting to learn to animate professionally someday or are already on your way, check out Animate. If you're already earning an income or an experienced animator and you've been doing this for a few years, definitely go with Animate Pro. And finally, Harmony, if you're an experienced professional or you're a head of studio thinking of upgrading your team, contact Toon Boom and I suppose they'll help you out. I don't know. Remember, whatever you get, you can upgrade later. So that's my rundown. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment. New videos here at Onion Skin every week, so I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Bye-bye.